Taste of the Caribbean, manufacturers of authentic Jamaican food products. I'm Sonia Dunstan and I'll be your host. Today, we'll be teaching you how to use our spicy sorrel chutney. This product is so versatile that it can be used to glaze your ham. However, this product is so versatile that it can be used to glaze a chicken. You could do a salmon, you could do a fish, you could do stir fry, or just as simple as having it on a cracker. So today, I'll be teaching you how simple it is to have a gourmet meal on a budget, okay? So just sit back and enjoy while I teach you how simple it is to use our products because we are manufacturers of authentic Jamaican products using our local herbs, spices, vegetables, and fruits. Okay, so today we're gonna to be doing a ham, a picnic ham from Spanish Grain, Victoria Farm. This is a very small ham and just enough for your family. So this is about four pounds. And now we're going to start dicing it. So when you, what, what I did, what, what my mother taught me and my grandmother is to parboil the ham. So you know we boil it for maybe about 15 minutes per pound that it remains nice and juicy and succulent. You know, um, because sometimes we're taught to do the ham, bake it, but when you do, when, I find that when I bake it, it gets dry. So I want the ham to remain juicy and nice and succulent and it absorbs all of the flavors that I'll be putting into it. So I have taken off the skin and then I leave a little fat. Because what you have to understand with food, the fat, the, the fat gives, um, gives the food flavor. So I leave a little bit of fat on and now I'm going to make some marks. I'm going to just dice it like that. Very easy, so easy. Look at that, so easy, just like that. All right, and then you go the opposite way. You're going to go like that now. And now we're going to be using our premium cloves. Cloves add a lot of flavor to food. So what you do, you're just going to put it in into each one of these little diamond spots that you have right there. So this is what we're doing. So all the diamonds that we made, little dice marks, we're just going to place it right there. Okay, just like that. So easy. So we're going to be using our sorrel chutney as a glaze, our spiced sorrel chutney, which is one of our premium products. I guarantee you that you'll enjoy your meal. It's gonna be so delicious, gourmet, so divine. So here it is, we're gonna melt it a little bit, back to into a syrupy form. And with the soil, it has all our indigenous spices of pimento, garlic, ginger, Cochinbonic pepper or soil or Jamaican soil. So here it is. We're going to just kind of stir it a little bit. So we're going to be using like about one and a half. We're just going to allow it to melt into a syrupy form. You know, a sorry chutney it has a little bit of thickness to it. So once it gets down to that kind of, to this kind of consistency, this is good. And we have prepared our baking tray. So this is our baking tray. But to avoid being messy, I put a little foil in the pan that when we're cleaning up, we don't have much work. So here is the ham that we have added all the cloves to. And now we are going to be adding our glaze. So you just spoon it on just like that. So it has that nice rich Jamaican soil color. You see how beautiful that is? Look at that. So here it is. Beautiful. 
I'm going to be adding this into the oven at 350 degrees. We don't put it too low. And we're going to let it stay in there to get some color. Welcome back. Today we are doing the other side of the dish because now the ham is in the oven and it is being baked with our delicious spicy sorry chutney. But guess what? I also want to introduce you to my pineapple ginger salad dressing or a guava lemon grass. These are all authentically made in Jamaica using our fresh vegetables, herbs, spices, fruits. So here it is. Please enjoy and I'm just going to teach you how simple it is and how versatile it is because a lot of people are thinking that a salad dressing only can be used on a green salad. Come on. It is much more than that. I'm just going to show you how much how, how possible it is for you to use it for other things. Do you know you just have to be creative and think what it is that you can do. So here it is, this is our pineapple ginger salad dressing. So these products are sold in our local supermarkets or they can be bought online at www.donsonsjamaicafood or Instagram, Donsons, Facebook, Donsons, or A Taste of the Caribbean. We are also located at the Domes, 85 Hagley Park Road, Unit 53. So here it is, we have our red kidney beans. So we're just gonna pour it in. Then we also have some chickpeas. So those of us who are vegetarians, don't feel left out. You know, you can also use all of these things and then just make up a meal. And these are black beans. So this is a very nutritious meal that, I do, that I'm preparing and showing you. These are corn. So just using some corn right here. And then we also have to add color. We're going to have some string bean. Right? So here it is, a kind of mix of everything, just like that, just like that, you know, Tootsie Bird, just like that, yeah, so you see the colors start coming up here, look at that, whoa, you know, just shimmy, look at that, look how pretty that is, oh my god, wow, Sonia, mad, <laughs> you know, so we'll add some color there, and then we're going to add a little onion to it, just, just a little bit of onion, you know, just to sprinkle on it, just to add some because we just need about a tablespoon right there, you know, because you know you need to have the fresh herbs. And then we're going to add a little sweet pepper for flavor, you know, we're going to add some green onions, which is our escalion. And we also add a little cilantro. So cilantro are herbs, our local herbs that are sold in the shops. And then this is all you do, okay? Just mix it all like that. And you could also add a little carrot, you know, because you want it to look pretty and attractive. You know what I mean? So. We have some carrot here. Because we eat with our eyes. So we could add a little more carrot for color. So I'm gonna add a little more carrot. So remember, what we added to this was some sweet pepper. You could all, you could use bell pepper. You could add a little scotch bonnet pepper. But I'm preparing this for children, so therefore I did not add any scotch bonnet pepper. But if you wanted to have a little pep to it and a little zest, yes, I'd maybe add a little pepper to it. And then you add with your cilantro, your green onions, and your sweet peppers. 
And here it is. We're going to use our salad dressing, right? So it is not too sweet and it's made from pineapple and ginger. So you can just imagine how good this is. You know, just simple like that. I don't think we need any more. I just want to see how that is. So we have completed our three bean salad where we used chickpeas, red peas, black beans, string beans, a little carrot for color. And we decided to use, added some herbs to it. So we added some cilantro, onions, sweet peppers to add flavor. You know what I mean? Because you want it to be nice and herby. And then we also had our salad dressings. We have a choice of salad dressings. We have a guava lemongrass, which is divine because you know, with the lemongrass, it has a nice aroma and our fresh Jamaican pineapple. These are not made from purees. These are made from real fruits. Also have, so this is what we did. So we just added it to it as flavor, you know, and you can see how rich the color is from our Jamaican guava and pineapple. And we just added some of the dressing. So you could have either or. You could have either or. You could just choose whichever it is that you prefer. But my preference is a guava lemon grass. Okay, welcome back. So we're gonna be checking on our ham that has been in the oven for the last half an hour. So as usual, as I told you earlier, we have to keep glazing it, that all of that nice succulent juice from the Sorry to chop me. Is the ham. So as you can see, it's not looking too bad, right? So this is what we do. Remember, this is on the fire, and all we're doing is just having a little glazy. This is how the consistency should be. Nice and syrupy. Nice and syrupy. Okay. So this is our ham. Some of the juice that is coming off so you just have to just put it back on just like that okay and then put this back here and we're going to put this back in the oven for just another 10 minutes and we should be ready Okay, so the ham has been baked, has been baked with our spicy sorrel chutney. So what I did, I allowed it to be absorbed in the ham and then all the flavor will just come out. So now I'm just gonna dress the ham. You know, in Christmas we have to dress the ham. So I'm just gonna add pineapple slices, like that, just like that, Tootsie Bird. Just like that, and then we just secure it with some toothpicks. Beautiful. Would you not agree that this looks very, very, very divine? I can rest assured that you will enjoy this ham because guess what? We parboil the ham. Remember all the steps? We parboil the ham for about 10 minutes for every pound. That is already a cooked ham. If it was not a cooked ham, I think it's about at least half an hour per pound or 20 minutes. You can determine. But it's already prepared, and this is what we did. So we parboiled it, then we de skinned it, allowed a little fat to be left on because the fat adds flavor to it, and then it, it goes in with all the sorrel spice the soil and then the soil the soil has all these spices your pimento your garlic your onion your ginger I can't tell you everything but you know we have some secret ingredients right so that is what will just let it pop and when you want to impress up on your guests for Christmas and um, for the season 
You want people to be in awe. You want people to think that you are the best chef in the world. But actually, it is Sonia Dunstan. Recipe, so easy, less than half an hour, you're gonna have a gourmet meal on a budget. So we're gonna put back this ham in the oven, just a little bit. So you see it has a nice rich red color, which reminds you of Christmas, right? Christmas, the blood of Jesus, our Lord and Savior. So we're just going to let that stay in the oven for about five minutes. For this ham, we use two bottles of spicy sorrel chutney. Dunson's spicy sorrel chutney. That has all the flavor that you could ever imagine. Right, it has the ginger, it has our local pimento. It's made from all our indigenous local spices. And you know Jamaica have the best, right? We can't brag about that. Don't! Yeah! Just a few more minutes and we'll be ready. We're just going to decorate it up a little bit. Just add a little lettuce here. You know, just, just kind of don't let it look so long. No. So I think this is our ham. So here it is, our ham looks divine, right? Would you not agree that this was a good job and very easy for us to do? Look how easy that is, look how beautiful that is. This is our Jamaican ham. This is authentically Jamaican. This ham was done by Sonia Dunstan, a taste of the Caribbean limited, using our spicy sorrel chutney as a glaze and then we also used a Victoria Farm ham which is all locally grown supporting our Jamaican farmers and the brand Jamaica. Please enjoy and tell me about it. I can be reached at A Taste of the Caribbean 85 Hagley Park Road Unit 53 or Dunson's Jamaica food.com or 876-535-6500. Enjoy! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And taste all different flavors in it, you know? Yeah. Thank you, Perk. Thanks for enjoying our meal today. And this is one of many persons who has confirmed how delicious this meal is. Using our spicy sorrel chutney and our guava lemongrass salad dressing because it is so versatile. And that is what it is. With a taste of the Caribbean, our, meat, our sauces, salad dressings, Perfect. and everything that we do is very versatile. You just have to be creative. Thank you for watching A Taste of the Caribbean, Sonia Dunstan, showing you how you can have a gourmet meal on a budget. I'd love for you to share this video with your friends, your family, your associates, and just everybody around the world, how easy it is to cook Jamaican and to cook on a budget. And this is what I do for you, and this is what I'd love for you to do, share it with the world.